what in the world is up guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here or it's been a while i mean i know it's been a while since i put out a video but welcome back to the butterfly diary my name is maddie today is a pretty exciting video i thought i'd just pop back in and just let you guys know that i'm still here i'm still hoping to put out videos whenever i have some news or anything going on i did warn you guys and tell you guys that it's bound to happen i'm not going to be as consistent with content anymore just because a whole bunch of different reasons my health so with traveling and school and all these other things that I wasn't doing before it's just obviously a little bit crazy with everything in general but I did want to make a video today just because it, I do have some new and exciting things going on and in particular today's um, topic I told myself you know regardless of whatever's going on I need to make a video for this and it's in regards to Ben Lusta I know that last time I mentioned this treatment. I'm, I think I might have even said it wrong. Uh, I think I said like, but I don't even know how I said it, but I just know that I mentioned it and it, it was completely just butchered. But it is Ben Lista, or also known as Belumimab, which is the new um, recently FDA approved medicine for lupus, which is crazy because it's been almost uh, 50 plus years since the last time that we had a medicine directly and specifically targeted for lupus patients so this is really big and it's even bigger that i get to now experience it i don't know um if it's also approved or if it is useful for other autoimmune conditions rheumatoid arthritis for fibromyalgia i'm not really sure but from my understanding it is specifically targeted for lupus patients sle patients are regulated for patients with lupus nephritis so before i know that it still hadn't gotten approved for lupus nephritis or people with kidney or uh, nervous system issues, but I know that now that has been cleared, so it's really good that now I get to also experience and really see, take advantage of this new technology that has now arrived. For any of you guys who are curious about this medicine, I will say I've only been on the medicine for about four weeks, I think, and the uh, average, I guess, time for it to take effect completely is six to nine months but i have heard that some patients have even started to feel the effects as early as two months so i do plan on keeping track of my progress and that kind of thing but for now i just kind of wanted to just introduce you guys to it and just as a little bit of information so you guys can um, be educated and informed let's get right into the video okay guys so i don't know about you but one of the many things that i like to do before anything um, regarding my health or new medication, new treatments, anything like that. There are four points or tips, I guess you could say, that I always consider when it comes to things going into my body. Doctors can recommend as much as they want, they can advise you as much as they want, but at the end of the day, we are the ones mainly concerned with what we put into our bodies because obviously we're going to be the ones feeling the effects going through the motions of all of these different types of treatments. So for that reason, I usually try to consider four points. These are just my personal main points, but I think that they're also very helpful for anybody who's considering any sort of treatment or medication for whatever condition under the sun. So what has been listed at and how it works? What are the common side effects? How it's administered once you have the medication or the treatments? And finally, how to pay for it because obviously we're not just going to be like handing out free medicine as much as we wish that we lived in a world like that. Those are the four of the points that I'm going to be taking you guys through today and uh, hopefully it will help you guys. So the first thing that you want to consider is what exactly is Benlista and how it works. Originally, the goal of Benlista was to just overall reduce activity of lupus of the disease itself. I know that in the past we've had a million other medications used on lupus patients, possibly one of the most common ones are steroids and anti-malaria um, meds to try to control lupus, which are all still very good and very effective in many ways, but they are not the type of medicines that most people would consider to be effectively targeted towards one aspect or of your immune system. I'll start to get this message much attention because it is the first 
treatment for lupus patients that specifically targets one aspect of our immune system. As I mentioned in other videos, you guys can go back and watch other videos where I explain kind of how lupus works, but just to kind of recap on what that is, healthy patients will usually produce what we call B cells when we come across an infection. Regularly, they will go through a process of releasing B cells, which in turn cause them um, to go into plasma cells, which then produce antibodies to fight off these infections. Releasing of what they call B lymphocytes, or B list for short, and this will ultimately prevent from cell death, um, which Eventually, uh, once the infection is gone, usually that is what cells will regularly process of apoptosis or cell death. And that way they don't have to be um, in the way of anything else. They can just clear out of your circulatory system and be on their way until there's another infection and the whole process can start over. In the case of lupus patients, what happens is that these B lymphocytes eventually bind with B cell receptors, it promotes the survival of in general, these B cells, they remain in our system, they become mature autoantibody producing plasma cells, and that ultimately just increases the number of B lymphocytes, B cells, which happen, if I don't think I mentioned it before, but of course, um, under the category of B cells are autoreactive cells that tend to attack our own bodies. They don't know how to detect the difference between foreign invaders and our own body tissue. Now that we have that cleared up, Benlista is actually a B lymphocyte inhibitor. Remember that B lymphocytes prevent apoptosis from happening, which means that you have a higher number of B lymphocytes in your system, which increases just the autoreactive activity in your body. Um, so with Benlista, you have an inhibitor that allows for more B cells to just undergo a normal process of apoptosis and decreases the number of autoreactive cells in your body. And um, yeah, so that's overall how that reduces lupus activity because it's allowing for those cells to go through whatever process they have to go through and then finally die off. I know that that's a little bit confusing. I'll have some videos linked at the bottom in case you want to learn more about um, that process, but that is pretty much how that works and that is why it has become such a great option for lupus patients because it targets one specific molecule and in because of that, obviously, there's less side effects and not as much immunosuppressant activity. All right, the second point that I kind of wanted to mention were side effects. I think that that is always one of the main things that we want to know when we're talking about any sort of new treatment or medication. So as of now, I will just say again, I've only been on it for about four weeks. I just got my first new package. Usually it will send you within, you know, even in the box that they uh, deliver, if you're getting it delivered to your house or if you're getting it in a hospital or administered by your doctor, regardless, you know, it's a good thing to just read over the side effects so that you know what you're getting into and so you can report it to your doctor if you are um, in the middle of experiencing any of these things. So. As of now, I haven't experienced anything too crazy. I think that one of the things that I did notice with me and just anxiety, um, even now, I, I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever been like too much of an anxious person, um, but I have had some experience with it and I know when I feel it, um, you know, that it is that. So um, I will say that that is a very common symptom of, or side effect, I should say, of Benlista. Um, there's also side effects of depression, anxiety, sleeplessness, allergy-related symptoms such as uh, rashes and things like that. Things like fevers, chills, headaches, nausea, a diarrhea, those type of things. So far, I haven't experienced any of those. I will go ahead and link also below your official page where you can get a full list of side effects. Okay, so the third issue that I kind of wanted to go over was how to pay for your Benlista. Um, because I know that, you know, medicine in general is not cheap. I wish it was free for everybody, you know, like in some countries, but at least in the US, it's not the cheapest thing. And uh, even if you do have money, I don't think that everyone will be willing to pay for 3,000 plus dollars per 
um, supply delivery. There are ways around it, which I will discuss a little bit later, just to give you guys a basis for this. There are three ways that Enlista can be administered to you. Syringe, there's a IV transfusion way, and then there's also the third way, which is the one that I'm currently using, which is the auto injector. Like, or how it comes in the package when you first receive it, but this is just what the general auto injector looks like. So it has obviously here the Musta Bilumab 200 milligrams. That is the dose that I'm currently using here. This one's already used, so that's why this looks purple right here. If you guys can see that, it's purple there. When you open it, you twist it open like this, and then here is where the needle will come out of. And I will kind of go over a little bit later how this works. So that is what the auto injector looks like, but specifically in terms of cost. I'm not the greatest expert in terms of explaining how insurance policies and plans work, but one person that I, I personally think is really good at explaining that, her name is Tori. I believe her last name is Brame or Brahme, I'm not really sure. I'll go ahead and link in her. I'll link her video on uh, Bunlista Gateway at the bottom. It's basically an enrollment program set up for people who are currently on Bunlista to help pay for their treatments and things like that. I haven't paid anything as of now for my um, Bunlista because of the copay plan. I'll show you guys a little bit about how to get there because um, I know that when I first started using that program, it was a little bit tricky for me to kind of navigate through there, so I'll just kind of really quick show you guys how that works. Currently, this is their website here. You go on to bimlista.com and see currently they have them only available for US residents. Um, so I'm not really sure what the policy is for people outside of, um, if you're residing outside of the United States. And you can go all the way to the bottom or click right here where it says Bimlista Cares and it will take you here the way down and then it says here sign up now to receive support from Benlistic Care. So through Benlistic Care you can sign up today and receive information about your financial options including Benlistic Copay program and Benlistic Gateway. So when you go to the pages I know it was kind of difficult for me to navigate also through hopefully I can sign in through my to my account here so you guys can see. Once you are approved for Benlista and you choose to, let's say in the case you want this to be delivered to your house, I'm speaking strictly for syringes and auto injectors because obviously if you're getting an IV infusion, you might have to do that through a hospital or at your doctor's clinic. But in terms of auto injectors and syringes, those will usually then go through a specialty pharmacy and they are going to be the ones responsible for delivering out to your house. Currently, I'm using Optum Specialty Pharmacy. This is currently what their page looks like. You will go sign in. This is my account here and I'll tell you here your medication will be available for re refill on January 23rd. So usually they'll let you uh, refill it a couple of days before the actual end of the month so that by the time the first day of the month comes around then that way you will already have it at hand. So once you have it available, you'll go here, you'll click on view prescription. Usually once your doctor approves it, it will notify you and it will send you the option to refill your prescription you just have to go on there and click that you approve or that you are ready to ship out and close your order um it will tell you here the name of the uh, medication with the dose your prescriber um how many days the supply is for and then hopefully well i can't right now i don't think because i already have got my one for this this month but It'll tell you here, hopefully it'll give you the option later. Here, okay, so down here it gives you the option to add a copay savings card. And doctors will usually tell you when you and if you got approved for a copay plan in the mail, you'll get the information to type in your copay information here. And through this, you fill this out and in a couple of days to weeks, for me it took a little bit longer, like about a week, for them to approve my copay. Um, that is pretty much how you do all of that. Um, you go to Specialty Optum Pharmacy, if that's your pharmacy, you click on the page, you click on the prescription, you go down to Copay Savings Card, and then use 
or type in the number or you can call their actual pharmacy and they can give you the information for the member ID and all of the other things I need to fill out so that they can approve it and then within a couple of days, two weeks, then they will usually approve it and hopefully you won't have to pay for it. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to talk about and probably the most important thing is how to administer Benlista. So as I showed you guys already, this is what the auto injector looks like. Um, this one is already used, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like, a pre-packaged um, um, order of Benlista. This one actually just came in yesterday, so I will go ahead and show you guys. It usually comes right here in this kind of huge box right here. So you open it, and this is usually what comes in every single package. Gives you here all of their information here. It'll give you your receipt, any sort of instructions that you might need. And hopefully they will also with ice packs because I will say these have to be... They will usually come in ice packs very, very deep, um, deeply covered with ice packs. And it will usually look like this. It comes in a little box, but it comes with several of the ones that I just showed you. Um, hopefully for the entire months, weeks. So like this one, you gotta open the little package here. And as you can see, this one is actually clear. It just has a tiny, tiny bit of purple at the very edge. So this is actually where the medicine is gonna be coming out of. So as it goes down, you're gonna, it's kind of like an EpiPen if you guys know that works. The, not the nicest feeling, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys really quick what that looks like. I'm still not the best at administering myself just because I am just not the best with needles. So you could just have someone who is more confident or more relaxed than you or better with needles to do it for you. And hopefully you guys will notice at the little side bar where you have the purple coming out, it will slowly start to go down. Wait, I would say it takes about 15 se seconds for it to go completely into your system. Once you pressure it down, make sure that it clicks and then hold for 15 seconds. Once the 15 seconds are done or until the purple bar hits all the way to the bottom where you can only see purple and nothing clear anymore, then you can remove the pen and usually, you know, that's, that will be the end of it. Just bear with me because this is the first time that I'm going to be doing this on camera. And, well, really my mom's gonna be the one injecting me, but I'm not gonna get her in the angle here. She's camera shy. As you guys can see, it's going to be blank right here. And then as the injection goes in, this purple area right here is going to start going down. I'm gonna pull this off here. You twist this cap off and you're just gonna be left with this. There's gonna be a needle that's gonna go down. As I push this down, you're gonna hear a click. If you guys want, some people, they wait five seconds after, I don't really, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but just, yeah. If you wait here, it's gonna click again. And then hopefully after that, you can just take this, close it back up. And then usually if you guys uh, have the option, you can order these with the rest of your delivery for free. They'll give you these and sometimes they'll even give you some alcohol preps for you to sterilize this site where you're gonna inject yourself before the injection. And then some band-aids just in case you do bleed. Don't worry if you do bleed, that's kind of normal. Um, hopefully it's not too much, but uh, depends. Some people bleed, some people don't bleed. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Place one inch away from the belly button. You can either do it on the abdomen, some people do it on the thigh or the leg, but um, I was recommended to do more on the abdomen and most people will do it there. So she's gonna take the swab and sterilize the area first. Sterilize needle end. She's going to press down with a little bit of pressure it until it clicks for the needle to go in. And second click. Hold for five seconds and or until the purple goes down. And you can release. If there's bleeding then you would take this bandage and put it over but for some reason I'm not bleeding. So that would pretty much be it. And that's the end of the tutorial.
All right guys, so I hope that that wasn't too uncomfortable to watch. I'm still getting the hang of it. As I said, I, I've only just recently started using it and I will be keeping track of the results, the progress of my symptoms, my side effects with the Venlista and hope you like, hopefully keep you guys updated. Um, but for now, that is it and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.